Hello and welcome to my latest video when I say I'm going into beast mode. BL means beast mode. And as people who follow my channel know a long time when I'm doing playlists and I see the ending site, I go into overdrive. So welcome to my second video of the day. There'll be another coming later. This video we're covering fighters going 180 to 171 as I start to close in on the top 100 itself. So these 10 fighters, let us start at fighter number 180. He's not an all-time great but he has one of the toughest resumes you can find around. It is Chuck Wiggins. Now, Chuck Wiggins fought in the pre-rating era and crossed over, uh, which is scary when you look at his bottom stat. But Chuck Wiggins, okay, beat four world champions. Chuck Wiggins had a total of 25 fights against world champions. And Chuck Wiggins fought a total um, of 226 rounds against champions. Now, Wiggins beat three Hall of Fame fighters. He had a massive 33 fights against Hall of Famers. Um, and Chuck Wiggins fought over 300 rounds against Hall of Fame. And is coming in with a total of 311. But even now, from the top 1,000 to 180, he had no world title fights. He made no title defences and fought zero title fight rounds. And Chuck Wiggins beat three pound-for-pound pound rated fighters in his career. He had a massive 33 fights against pound-for-pound pound rated opponents. And Chuck Wiggins, considering he fought in the pre-rating era with no ratings into the rating era, he still has an enormous 60 fights against Rated Fighters, Champions or Hall of Famers. What that number would be with full ratings, heavens, heavens only know how big that number would be. But certainly much higher than it is, which is a scary thought. Fighter number 179, okay, is former lightweight champion Ad Walgast, okay, former lineal champion. Ad Walgast beat two world champions, and Walgast had a total of 12 fights against world champions in total, and he fought 145 rounds against champions. Now, Ad Walgast beat two Hall of Fame fighters, and he had a total of 13 fights against Hall of Fame opponents in his career, and Ad Walgast fought a total of 158 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, in world title fights, okay, Ad Walgast had a total of seven world title fights. He also made five title defences, and Ad Walgast fought a total um, of 108 title fight rounds. And against pound-for-pound pound rated fighters, okay, Ad Walgast beat two pound-for-pound pound rated fighters, um, and he had a total of 13 fights against pound-for-pound pound rated fighters overall. And in fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, another solid pre-rating era fighter, so his number is far lower than it would have been. He comes in with a total of 15 fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. That's a little side project as a hobby I've decided to do, or may do, after I've finished my uploads uh, and my playlists is... Trying to roughly calculate what level on that number fighters would have fought from pre rain era. So fighter number 178, okay, is an excellent featherweight fighter called Battling Battalino. Now, Battling Battalino, okay, beat a total of nine world champions. Um, Battalino had 14 fights against world champions, and he fought a total of 135 rounds against champions. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Battling Battalino beat six Hall of Fame fighters, and he had a total of 11 fights against Hall of Famers overall. And when we look at the rounds that Battalino fought against Hall of Fame as he comes in with a total of 119. Now, in world title fights, he had a number of them. He had six in total. Um, Battling Battalino also made five title defences, and he fought a total of 70 title fight rounds. And against pound-for-pounders, Battling Battalino beat eight individual pound-for-pound -pound rated fighters, which is a good tally. Far lower than the top number 18, but far higher than many have seen on playlist. He had 15 fights against pound-for-pounders, and in his fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers, Battling Battalino comes in um, with a total of 36 fights against them. So this is a guy who beat six Hall of Famers, okay, fought multiple and beat multiple pound-for-pounders. Never gets mentioned as a, as a top featherweight fighter ever by anybody virtually. So... Fighter number 177 is a fighter I've raved about, okay? Jimmy Leto, he has a super tough resume. He's got many great wins. And if he hadn't taken a few years out to play football, then 
his resume would have been even bigger. Jimmy Leto beat eight world champions, and he had a total of 16 fights against world champions, and Jimmy Leto fought a total of 141 rounds against champions. Against Hall of Fame fighters, Leto beat six Hall of Fame fighters, and he had a total of 14 fights against Hall of Famers overall, and Jimmy Leto in total fought 121 rounds against Hall of Famers. But, surprise, surprise, Jimmy Leto had zero world title fights. He made zero title defences and fought zero title fight rounds. And against Pound for Pounders, Jimmy Leto beat six Pound for Pound rated fighters and he had a total of 13 fights against Pound for Pound rated fighters overall. In fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Jimmy Leto comes in with a total of 39 fights. Could throw fast combinations at quick hands. He surprised uh, many a great fighter with those quick combinations of his. And the fact that guys like this never got a title shot, to me, is almost criminal, in, in all honesty. So, Jimmy Leto, 177. Fighter 176 is another major league um, fighter from his time. Uh, Lou Scosa, one of these super tough contenders who fought a who's who of everybody and scored many good wins. Lou Scosa beat three world champions and he had a total of 18 fights against world champions. And Scosa fought 174 rounds against champions. Now against Hall of Fame fighters, Scosa beat two Hall of Fame fighters and he had a total of 12 fights against Hall of Famers overall. And in total, Lou Scosa fought 126 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now in world title fights, Lou Scosa did have two world title fights, uh, so he was lucky compared to many. Um, he made zero title defences and Lou Scosa fought a total of 30 title fight rounds. And against pound for pound fighters, Scosa beat three pound for pound rated fighters. And he had an overall total of 17 fights against pound for pound rated opponents. Now in terms of fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Scosa is the second on this video to crash past the half century um, with a massive total of 54 fights against rated fighters champions or hall of famers now it's not just the fact he fought that many fights against opponents of that caliber but it's the names he fought and if you look at his resume his resume is ridiculous so on to the next one, okay, fighter 175, okay, a light heavyweight called Bob Godwin. Now, Bob Godwin, okay, beat a total of three world champions. Um, Godwin had a total of 24 fights against world champions, and he fought just over um, 200 rounds against them, coming in with a total of 208. Now, Bob Godwin beat one Hall of Fame fighter, and he had a total of 10 fights against Hall of Famers overall, and Bob Godwin fought a total of 87 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, in world title fights, Bob Godwin had two world title fights, like Lou Scosa. He made zero title defences, and Bob Godwin fought a total of 14 title fight rounds. And against pound-for-pound -pound fighters, Bob Godwin beat two pound-for-pound -pound rated fighters, and he had a total of 20 fights against pound-for-pound -pound rated fighters overall. And in fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers, like many on this particular video, Bob Godwin also has a large total, not as high as Wiggins or Scosa, um, but in the battle in battle, you know, territory, just one higher with 37 fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. So another guy with an excellent resume. Now our next fighter, we're jumping forward to the more modern era, okay, to one of the modern multiweight champions and pound pounders of more recent decades. Uh, fighter 174 is Sugar Shane Mosley. Now Shane Mosley beat a total of eight world champions in total, and Mosley had 22 fights against world champions throughout his career. Shane Mosley comes in for having fought 235 rounds against champions. Now against Hall of Fame fighters, Shane Mosley has beaten one Hall of Fame fighter and more may be added over time. Um, he's had six fights against Hall of Famers in regards to his Hall of Fame stats. He's had six fights against Hall of Famers and Shane Mosley has fought 72 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now Shane Mosley is a multiweight champion. He had 22 world title fights across the divisions he titled in and Shane Mosley made a total of 11 title defences and in terms of title fight rounds for Shane Mosley fought 204 title fight rounds against pound for pounders Mosley beat three pound for pound rated fighters and he had a total of 13 fights against pound for pound rated fighters overall and in fights against rated fighters champions or hall of fame fighters um, Shane Mosley comes in with a modern era total 
um, of 28 fights against them. So Shane Mosley's 174. Let's jump back in time and down to bantamweight now for fighter 173. This fighter is known as Pete Kid Herman. Um, fantastic fighter he was down there. Pete Herman beat five world champions and he had a total of 16 fights against world champions overall. And Pete Herman fought 163 rounds against champions. What you were looking at here to me is potentially one of the 10 greatest bantamweights of all time. Pete Kid Herman beat five Hall of Fame fighters um, and he had a total of 14 fights against Hall of Fame opponents. And in terms of rounds against Hall of Famers, Pete Kid Herman fought a total of 154. Now in world title fights, Pete Kid Herman had six world title fights. He made one title defence and Pete Kid Herman fought 85 title fight rounds. And against pound pound rated fighters, Pete Kid Herman beat one pound pound rated fighter and he had two fights um, against pound pound rated fighters in his career. And fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Pete Kid Herman fought in the pre-rating era. He comes in still with a total of 20 fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. But trust me, that number would be way higher. Pete Kid Herman has a very stacked resume indeed. So, from fighter 173, let's go down to fighter number 172. Um, another super tough contender from his time. It is one Baby Joe Gans. Now, Baby Joe Gans beat two world champions in his career, and Gans had a total of 13 fights against world champions overall. Baby Joe Gans fought a combined 97 rounds against champions in his career and against Hall of Famers Gans beat no Hall of Fame fighters he had six fights against Hall of Famers overall and Baby Joe Gans fought a total of 45 rounds against Hall of Famers now in world title fights surprise surprise Baby Joe Gans had zero world title fights he made zero title defences and fought zero title fight rounds and against pound pound rated fighters Baby Joe Gans beat two pound pound rated fighters and he had a total of four team fights against pound pound rated opponents in his career and in fights against rated fighters champions or hall of famers a number of fighters on this video have had big tallies here baby joe gans is no different coming in with a total of 40 fights against rated fighters champions or hall of famers so i'll have a quick dream now to see where his namesake the mighty joe gans himself the old master comes you will have to see later in the playlist he's much higher so on to the final fighter of this video fighter number 171 former middleweight champion tough and rugged gene fulmer now gene fulmer beat a total of four world champions in his career and fulmer had 12 fights against world champions overall. Uh, Gene Fulmer fought a total of 148 rounds in his career against champions. Now against Hall of Fame fighters, Gene Fulmer beat two Hall of Fame fighters and he had a total of 10 fights against Hall of Fame opponents overall. Gene Fulmer fought 138 rounds against Hall of Fame opposition. Now in world title fights, okay, Gene Fulmer had 13 world title fights. He made seven title defences and Gene Fulmer fought a total of 148 title fight rounds. And against pound for pound rated fighters, Fulmer beat six pound for pound rated fighters and he had a total of 14 fights against pound for pound rated fighters overall. And Gene Fulmer had a total of 28 fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. So that ends my second video of the day. Another one will come later tonight. Okay, but that will be 30 fighters counting down today. I can smell the finish line, therefore I turn into a machine. And over next week, these videos are coming thick and fast. There's my latest video. I'll be back tonight with my next 10 fighters on my huge playlist. I'm out for now.